Okay, welcome to another Let's Mod Generals Zero Hour. Uh, last video we dropped off a couple hours ago. Uh, we uh, John will John will gave us instructions on how to potentially avoid crash in W3D tool. So I have this running now in debug configuration. Breakpoints are still set on the condition where it would read, uh, where it would overflow buffer. Uh, that has not hit yet so far, so that's good. We did submit CB mock this 02 fixed texture set. So now that means we can continue with the next one, which is CB mock this 03. Mm -hmm. On a mission to make a zero hour the best game, bug free, <laughs> best graphics. Yeah, that's what we need to achieve. Okay, so mock this. <clears throat> now I already already did the snow textures and the regular ones, but not yet the night textures. So let's get an overview first. What needs to be done here? CB mock this. Okay, so it's done here. Okay, so D and DS removes obsolete alpha channel. Okay, this I think DS, DS. Uh, but that's weird because why is there, is there a duplicate? Adds more damages. No, okay. Looks like there's some mistake in the documentation. Does it have an alpha channel? D, DS. Let's see. It does have an alpha channel. Whoa, that texture looks wild. Okay. Let's uh, load it in the tool. CB mock this 03. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, it's not using alpha here and here. So yeah, this can be removed. The alpha channel. So DS, did I change anything here? Oh yeah, it looks like I made a bunch of changes here. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, we can... Uh, so that means we put this one down here and we remove this one here. Okay, and I think we can also well, let's uh, first look at the, the, okay, wait, we first need to copy in the original textures. So this is here, the first, and here is the last here. Okay, let's copy this one in. Okay, let's start with uh, R, R, Oof. Oof. Okay, it's using this here. S black. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, e, S. S black. <laughs> okay. R. It looks the same. It also looks the same. R N. Also the same. Okay, I have no idea why this S black here is used, but I think what we can do, we can just remove it. I think so. So we take this and we just write this, this, and this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
So, is this an S black one? Uh, fixes incorrect night light. Okay. Are there any other odd night lights? Mm. No, I thought just these two are here. Yeah. Okay, then that's good enough. Okay, but the D, let's take a look at that now. D is. Um, first, we can remove this DDS file here, and then we can also remove the others. This, 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 and this, and this, and these two. Yeah, let's move that. Okay, let's first check the regular texture set. Five, this one, yeah. Close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this is pretty large. Why is it so large? Uh, Oof. Okay, let's. Uh, ah, it's probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think what happens here is. Yeah, these are upscales here in in general, but the upscale is not necessary. So zero hour can use half size texture. It's okay. Yeah, we don't need 512 by 512 for this building. It's too much. This this texture set is total jank. <laughs> the rubble texture is almost black. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, mm, but we already did a bunch of fixes on this one, so that's good. Okay, so I think what we can do here is we can move these general textures, all of them. Yeah, all of them. We move these into the obsolete folder. It means it won't be used for for super patch. Yeah. yeah. This, this this kind of upscale is really not necessary. Waste of video memory. Right. Okay, so that means that means uh, I do wonder though, what did I use as a base? So, so I previously already touched the texture set, so now I'm trying to get an overview of what I actually did there. Uh, CB mock to 03. Yeah, okay, this looks same. So I did use the original textures in zero hour as they are as a base and not the one in generals, which are twice the resolution size. Yeah, but that's okay because uh, the building is kind of small. It's not a big building. So, and, uh, 256 times 256 is plenty for this object. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, the D, we leave. Ah, okay, so we take this one and we put it into. Oof. Mm -hmm. OK, 
can we also create a remove alpha channel folder here and then we need to hook that up here in word builder uh, not word builder in mod builder uh, remove alpha channels here yeah yeah we'll create a copy of this one and we also use it for zero hour of alpha channel generates yeah okay so we got so it means we don't need to have this tga file here we use the original dds file and we just strip the alpha channel from it which is much simpler let's let's build it and double check that this actually works uh, where is it build folder do we have it open uh, let's open a new new folder yeah. build uh, raw bundle items optional textures are the textures cb mock d zero three and that's d yeah there it is looks good yeah okay so let's just strip the alpha channel yeah okay so that is sorted can remove this one let's uh, let's open these two here Okay, this E is here, R is here, and G. Okay, let's double check that these now look good. Zero three, yeah, that looks good. Damage E is damaged, fixed damages. Darken, I think we should put here E, fixed damages. This damage R, so it adds additional damages. Use this E as a base. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Mm. G. Garrison. Uh, I don't quite like that there are no shadows behind those uh, barricades, but I think it's okay. It's okay, it's too much work not to add shadows. Eh? It's all right. Let's see how it looks on the model. Yeah, it's fine. Could be better. If, if there was a little bit of shade behind those uh, window barricades and they have a better contrast to the backdrop, which makes it look better. A lot of models have it like that, but not this one. But it looks fine. It looks fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is good. And this one was fixed and looks good. Yeah. Okay, this texture set looks good. Then let's double check the snow. Snow is DS, DSG, RS, SG, ES, mm, and S. Yeah. There we go. Right. Oh, it's a big one here. That's also a big one. Okay, let's open the smaller ones. Uh, it's S. Where is it? Zero three. S S G. No, that's two. Huh? Where is it? Huh? Am I blind? Why is it not here? Huh? Am I stupid? It must be here. I 
I don't see it. Ah, we're looking at zero four. Okay, I am stupid. But wait, no, zero three is here. But why is there so few? Ah, because I'm looking at build. Oh, God. too many folders. This is the correct folder. Okay, yeah, officially retarded. That's okay. That, that comes with modding zero hour. Uh, retardation levels rise. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. This, bring it in order. Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay, this looks good to me. Do we actually have an alpha channel? No, we don't. Damage looks good. This looks also good. RS looks also good to me. SG also looks good. And DSG also looks good to me. Yeah, this all looks good to me. Damages. Yeah. Good. Okay, then that's fine. DSG is this documented. Looks like DSG is not documented. Okay, some uh, some files missing documentation. DS is documented. ES also. RS also documented. But DSG is not documented. Okay, what did we do there? What was wrong on DSG? I think that's again the wrong folder. DSG here. Oh. Okay, there's damage discrepancies. Look, the texture looks different. Yeah. I ignore the uh, the blackness here. That's from the alpha channel. But the snow looks different. So, or damage. The damage looks different. Yeah. Okay, then we can document that TSG uh, by the way the order is wrong here ES goes here and DS goes here and DSG uh, fixes Fixes texture damage and snow inconsistencies with DS. Uh, uh, so the DS fixes inconsistencies with DSG and DSG the other way around. Is that correct? Oof. Let's see. So this is the original DS. Let's see, edit. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I so I blended DSG first into DS, and then I used DS as a base for the new DSG. That was what I did here, and so that this way they achieve consistent visuals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that that makes sense. DSG. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's fill this documentation. The order is I would put the DG behind R. So let's put this down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Making progress. Documentation. Okay. Good. That looks that looks solid. Let's, let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
8, so we should have 8 PSD files. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh? What do we e R R S yeah, D G D G here, yeah. D S, yeah, E S, yeah, and D S G, yeah. Huh? What is missing? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight textures. But I only count. Ah, this D is, of course, is also generated in. in yeah, seven, seven, seven is correct. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's uh, take a look at the night texture. So we have N, N, G, D, N. We have no D, N, G. That is missing. Let's see if that is actually used. D, D, N, G. What does it look like? D, N, G. Oof. Okay, that's weird. The lightning is weird because um when the when the glass is broken here this should be brighter it should not be black uh, this looks odd to me yeah i think we need to remake the lightning texture dn yeah this may i mean you you can't do it like this but i think we can do it better yeah, i think we can do it better so we say where, where the glass is broken we make the light actually brighter because the, the glass will make the light a bit darker, but the broken glass will make it a bit lighter. With damages, if, if there's like dirt damages, I, I think this is fine. But if it's clearly broken glass, I think we should make it brighter. Yeah. Although... Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, but... Uh, Take a look at N. It's kind of what, what is weird is that uh, not all lights are turned on. This is such a small building. Might as well just make all windows bright. Also, I think this down here should be illuminated because why is this dark here? Like it's uh like. If it was up here, if it was dark, because there would be blinds, then okay. But down here, why is it dark? Also, why is this dark? This is like one door. If there's like a hallway, well, hallway. <laughs> if there's like one room inside, then this should also be bright. Also, why is this different color? Yeah, okay, maybe there's like one light bulb, but no, it should be probably the same color because... Yeah, different color doesn't make so much sense because like the, there can be only one light source here, right? It's not like there are two rooms. It's like right on the corner. <laughs> the light must be the same. Uh, it's the same color. Yeah, that's okay. We can change the color. Okay, yeah, the light looks kind of weird. I think we can fix this. Yeah, remake this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and SN 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 uses the same, but it has no drawing over here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it there could be. Oh, so NG also has the damages. NG. Ah, okay. So that's a problem. So N to NG already has damaged lights. That's a, that's a bug. Okay, so let's take some notes here. Mm. So what we will 
fix is on what's the name ng ng see we mock this ng uh, fixes uh, broken uh, broken window lights yeah and yeah I think we were we create maybe we create new textures for s and for the snow variants i'm not really sure yeah. okay let's first do let's first close all this here ds uh, okay mm. So we use this one, and this one, and this one, this one, this one, and TTG, D, G, okay, we also need to open this one here. Okay. Okay, so this will be a little bit of work here to recreate those lights. Yeah. This is N. Okay. Yeah, it has very soft lights here, but I think we can do better. Oh, it does actually have the blinds closed but both on top and bottom here at the top mm. yeah it's okay but the light can go through the blinds right okay then i would say we take oh that's too large uh, to open this one i guess Okay, so we take lights, lights, and yeah. create a new layer, shapes, and now we first we pick some color here. The main color looks to be, we are, I think this is a nice color here, gold, golden light. Okay. So I can put the lights here. And here, and here, yeah, maybe a bit larger, like this, maybe. Yeah. Uh, this can be a bit wider. Okay, I think that's good. And then we put light here and here. Oh, maybe. Okay, and same down here. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, put the lights here. 
right here. So put a light here. And we need to need to deduct something here, the shape. Oh boy. That's a weird that's a weird shape. How can we Uh, I don't know how to do the shape. Maybe this rounded rectangle. Oof. Yeah, maybe like this. looks kind of strange oh. maybe like this, like so oh no we created the two shapes. Right, so copy this, paste it in here. There we go. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. I think that's. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Like this, another. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think we can do it like this. Yeah. Okay, so that would be the base light. Um, obviously, under this, we need the black. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Then I think we can maybe there should be some mm, inner glow. Uh, uh, a little bit. Glow. Mm. Maybe maybe not yet. The light is kind of mute. The light is kind of mute. I would say, looking at the texture here, the light probably should be more mute here on the blinds, but brighter here. So bright here and here and on the door, but mute otherwise. Okay, how about we do that? So. So we put here darken, call it darken blinds, darken blinds. We just put a rectangle. Uh, 
Yeah, I think rectangle is good enough. So this and then just a little bit darker. Uh, not so much. Twenty five percent. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, and the shapes we now put a little bit of uh, outer glow. Outer glow. Just the tiniest amount. So we take this color, this, and maybe three. Yeah, two. Let's go with two. I think that's good enough. Three. I can't decide. Two or three. Yeah, I think two is okay. Or maybe not. Let's check three. Yeah, I think I will go with two. Just a little, little glow. Okay. Now we probably need some shadows, shades. Mm. Let's put. Uh, Shadows uh, and not shadows, uh, great gradients, gradients. And uh, we need, uh, I would say, we take a circular like this. Uh, we make it no draw, and then we put uh, inner shadow. In our shadow, and then yeah, probably make the light at the top. Yeah. Okay, let's reposition our circle here. Let's make it match the size. Okay, I like this. Yeah, I think that's is that all right? I think that's okay for stars. Maybe a little bit dark at the bottom. Yeah, I go with 80, maybe 70. Yeah, like this maybe. Maybe a bit more noise or less. Three is okay. Yeah, I think we can go like this. That's good enough. I'll we'll take a copy of this and put it here at the top. window here. Uh, let me 
double check. Let's uh, maybe put one for both. Maybe like this. Uh, then go with inner shadow. Maybe like this. I think that's not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we can also take the same. Let's rename this first. Yeah. And we take the same thing and put it down here. Like this. Okay, I think that's a good start. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't talk too much. I just 15. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have new lights now. Let's see how they compare against the original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The original had much smaller windows here. Yeah, it's much smaller. But it's weird because there's much more room. Yeah, but maybe they are a little bit too large. Maybe. Maybe it makes sense to make it a little smaller. this Make it a little smaller, like the original.
Okay, I think we can try it like this. Okay, I think that's that's all right. Maybe what I would like to see is like a light source here. How about that? Let's see. Uh, I need a circle. Um, I think it's inner glow. Inner glow. I put a nice, a nice yellow. Maybe like this. Ah, yeah. oh, we can use, I think we can use white, white, and then we use color dodge, color lizards. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it looks kind of crap. So a little bit too strong. Can probably curb that a bit. We can put, uh, put a twenty-five percent maybe. Uh, maybe it's too much. Twenty. Maybe fifteen. Fifteen. Let's check. Uh, that's not too bad. I think we can do that. Looks okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Good. Then, then we can actually darken the blinds a bit more. Twenty percent. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all right. Yeah. Okay, then this is a gradient. Then let's put also some dirt. Soft, soft dirt. Soft dirt, black. And pencil and flow 10. And then we put some nice dirt here oh. uh -huh. oh, that's maybe a bit too much there oh, maybe not oh, maybe a bit probably this okay I think that's good soft dirt and now maybe some hard dirt yeah hard dirt 20 and some some nice specks here in the corners uh, 
Oh, it's a bit too much, I think. That's also too much. Let's uh, dial it a little bit back here. This is too much. This is too much. I think this is fine. This is a bit too much. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Okay, so just so that there's a little bit of texture on those windows. Okay, I think that looks pretty solid. Let's uh, compare that with the original. Yeah, the original lights are smaller and less plentiful. I think this is good. All the lights are on now. This gives us a bit more freedom for the damage texture. On the damage texture, we can flip some lights off and then it becomes easier to see like, okay, which house is damaged and which one is not damaged, right? Okay, I think that's good. Okay, then we can remove these two layers and uh, save this. Save as Photoshop. Save. Save. Okay, let's build that and test it. Okay, this is N. Ah, uh -huh. there we go. Yeah. I, I think these lights here, these windows look very good. Yeah, this looks good to me. The door, the door, that's not so great because now we have these outlines here. I mean, it's not too bad. Let's make it a little darker. Yeah. I, I mean, it's fine, but maybe we can also make those lights smaller. I think it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Looks okay. Okay, I think yeah, the lights look good. You can also kill the scene light here for proper night setting. And yeah, I think that's good. Looks like uh, there is some activity inside the house. Now it's not really the blinds they don't really come to fruition here. Maybe maybe we do need to darken the blinds more. Maybe 35%. Let's try this. Uh, it's quite a lot, it makes it much darker than. Uh, uh, let's try it then. Mm-hmm. 
think that's also fine, right? Yeah. Also fine. Yeah. Okay, and it doesn't make a that much of a difference. Maybe brighten it again a bit. Maybe maybe we set it on some somewhere in between. Uh, let's put it on thirty percent. Thirty. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so now next is uh, DN, which originally looks like so, which I think I think is bonkers, because broken glass. Here, if the glass is broken like this, the light should be uh, brighter, more bright. But maybe we don't need to do this extra work. Maybe we can already settle on on killing some of the lights. We probably want to keep this light here. We can probably kill. Well, we can. Hmm. But all these rooms are kind of closed. Like this, this light needs to be on if this light is on because this is one room, right? And same here. Like, there, there's just one room inside, <laughs> realistically, maybe two. But the problem is it's using the same, the same parts of the texture. Uh, yeah, we can't really kill lights here, I think. Or can we? Uh, We can make it darker. We just make all the lights darker on the damaged model. Yeah, I think that will work. I think that's good enough then. Okay, then let's do it. So we take this copy merged as a base, put it in here. CP mock this, mock this zero three. And merged, and then we put the this one. The that's our reference. Okay, I think I already have a cutout of those damages somewhere. I think on DG. If I, yeah, here. Yeah, here. See, no. Maybe here? No, also not. Huh. Huh. Okay. Mm, maybe on maybe on some other G texture. Maybe DSG. DSG. No, also not. Okay, then we make new cutouts. No problem. Okay. Then first we create some layer. Uh, And the shapes are kind of simple. I probably need to get a bit closer here. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's start with this one here. Okay. Then we got the damage here. 
to here and then down here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay, that's the first damage. Next one. Yeah. Uh one is somewhere around here we start in the corner The next one yeah. Yeah. Uh Okay, and oh, there's more here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Most beautiful lines ever drawn. And zero hour history. Yeah. Okay, good. I think that looks good. So we now got shapes for the for these damages. So what we will do now is create a levels, levels, this, yeah, that has this, shapes. Okay, and now we got this here, put the damage, damage dn. Damage DN, levels one, yes. And now let's take a look at this. And now we can increase the brightness here. Yeah, like this. Uh, maybe uh, levels is not the right one. Maybe we need the curves. Maybe that's better. Like this. Okay, there's some problem down here. Mm, how do we deal with this? Huh. 
Well, that's the way it should be. Okay. kind of weird though maybe what we can do here is we just add a little bit more wizards here I'll take this like this yeah like this let's see how does that look yeah guess we can do that oh. okay okay so this would be where the where the glass is broken and then but I think that's only half the story. That's only half the story. Uh, let's put a folder. Let's call this uh, a damaged glass. Like this. And then we put the, this here. And then how about we take um, lights. Uh, uh, lights, uh. We take this yellow here, this, this, and then we paint a little bit here so to make it a little bit more uniform, right? Oh, make it a little bit more. Oh, that's not the way it should be. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> okay, how do we do this? How do we do this? Okay, maybe we need to do it differently. Yeah, maybe we need to take those shapes here. And put the shape in there. Yeah, like this. Uh, it looks kind of weird though. Okay. Okay, let's first change the color of the shapes to the bright outer glow, also to the bright tone. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh. Okay, I think uh, the only problem I see here is this part. So I think what we do is we take this, this, and we make this black, this here, like this. Yeah. Okay, now I think we can we can work with this. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is basically where the glass is broken, and there's a uh, bright bright lights yeah. ok 
Oh, <laughs> okay, now I see the problem. Okay, I think hard light makes sense because then it retains a little bit of that gradient shining over. I think that's good. I think that we can do. Maybe make it a little bit brighter. Mm, take levels. That's a lot. Maybe not. Okay. So this is damaged. Okay. But now maybe we darken everything just a little bit. So say darken and yeah, all the windows. All the windows. Okay. And now we add some black there. Now everything is gone. Put it at maybe 15, just a bit darker, maybe 20, yeah, like this maybe, let's see. Sure. Oof.
about we just stuck in this? This. Like this. like this I mean it's quite intense light though it's quite intense yeah. maybe maybe like this yeah It doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's compare with the original. Original is like this. Let's see edits. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this looks on the model. Brightness and DN. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I think it does. All right. The only issue I have with this is that it's, I think it's a bit too bright down here. So I think maybe a, a little bit noise would be good. A little bit noise. So if we take, we take this, uh, take all this, put here noise, noise, and this. Um, Looks crap right now, I know. Filter, noise, add noise. But 10. Okay, and now we do overlay. Okay, then we reduce it. Okay, put it on 30%, like this. But I think I would like to see a little bit more shade. Let's um, try to get those gradients somehow over there. Uh, we take N, D, D, N, D, uh, D, N here. Yeah. Gradients. Yeah. So the problem is these apply to Ah, no, they apply correctly because of the layer mass. That's good. Okay. We can put the gradient in there. Uh, maybe we name this gradient N. Gradient N. And this also gradient N. So we know that this is sourced from the N texture. 
And then I think we can remove this noise we just created. Okay, I think that's much better because now the new shades, uh, the new shapes we have added also have that gradient. I think that get, that makes it look much, much better. See, yeah, that, that was missing before. Yeah, I think that's that's much, much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I was missing. Okay, let's take a look at the, um, at the new texture. CP mock this zero three and and DN DN. There we go. And oh, that's a wrong model. Mock three and DN. There we go. Okay, so that's a regular one. Let's make it darker. DN. Ah, yeah. I think that looks good. Thumbs up if you agree. I think that looks good. Much better than the original. Yeah. That's good. It looks damaged. Maybe maybe the contrast should be a bit lar larger. So the glass should be maybe much darker. So that you can really see that the glass is broken. Yeah, I think, although it's quite pronounced already, it is quite pronounced already. But maybe we can just, uh, just a little bit, just a, a touch, just a touch, like this, to really make it obvious, right? Make it obvious. Lightning, kill scene lights. Yeah, I think that's good. It clearly looks broken, broken glass. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It looks damaged. Great. Okay. Looks like there's an alien standing here. Oh, I just realized. Wait a minute. D. Oh, so this is also broken out. Oh. Oh, okay. So we can remove this. Let me see. Okay, so the shapes I need to remove these things here. Uh, because that is also damaged. Oh, now we have this here. Uh. <laughs> okay, is that because of hard light? Oh, we need to put it on armor. Okay. Let's see the lightning difference here. Hard lights. It's a bit more golden. Uh, okay. Maybe we can change that. Uh, no. I did like the previous color better. I like this color better. Mm, how do we do this? No, we cannot do this. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Maybe like this. That's not easy. Difficulties here with that light. Okay, how about I just decrease the brightness? Ah, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, it needs to be hundred percent. Yeah, we need to make it darker here. Wait, we can remove the brightness here on this layer. No, we can't. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Maybe go with this color. Is that good enough? Yeah, okay. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, then let's do the NG. Ah, NG. So it does mean we actually do need to make shapes for the garrison for these things and maybe you can also add the shadows here oh boy all right okay so next step is we do the garrison actually let me double check the light the light looks i think it's, it's too yellow the light is too yellow i, I think that yeah the, the light is a bit too yellow Let's revisit this once more. I don't I quite like it. I think it needs to be a bit more orange. Like this. Yeah, I think that's better. I think we also need to set this color codes. The outer glow also needs to be adjusted. that's I think that's more like it yeah I think that's better yeah 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 yeah. okay now we take this one copy merged and we paste this one here CB mock this zero three uh, merge no underscore and merge okay all right and now we take the G and we put this one here and we need to uh, barricades and G. Yeah. Uh, shapes. And now we need to actually recreate those shapes here with black. Black, black. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this one. And this one, and let's do the straight ones first because they are simple. 
this one, this, and yeah, this one, this. rest I have some tilts so we need to take this and then here that's good next that's also good It's a bit too large. Too large. Oh. Oh. This is a bit of pain here. Pain. But okay. This is part of zero hour. <laughs> Fixing textures. Compressed textures. Yeah. Compression artifacts. making progress here that's all that matters making progress yeah it is um, it is a lot of work to recreate those textures those night textures but it is necessary because otherwise they look jank this one also looks pretty straight here. Yeah. This one also looks pretty straight. Oh boy. Okay. Next, last window. I see the end of the tunnel here. Like 
this. Uh, Smaller. Maybe. Have to say. Ah, uh, that's wrong. By the way, let's save this file before we continue. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, luckily I can do the. <laughs> I clicked on revert instead of save as. God damn it. Okay. But luckily Photoshop has a history functionality. Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. I think that looks all right. We can probably add a little bit of um, feather. So we go to um, drop shadow. Nope, that's a bit too much. Spread zero. And let's. Uh, yeah, we can probably decrease seventy five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think down here, this one, let's be a bit wider, this one here. Mm -hmm. I think that makes sense. Yeah, so now we have window barricades. And we compare this now with the original. So this is the original, which had the bug, right? So it, it, already, it has these glass damages in here. And now this is properly fixed. Yeah. Good. So this is barricades NG. And we can remove this. And we can delete this one here. Yeah. And save. And that's good. And now we can do a DSN, which I think did not exist. Let's see. DSN, DSN, uh, not DSN, DNG, I mean, DNG. Aha, that doesn't exist. Okay. Then we create a copy of this one. DNG. We open this one here. And put that here. And then we put the see and damage the n damage the n i think we take this one copy uh, copy merged take this or this the n and then add this one barricades duplicate dng dng and then we move these two here Actually, no, that's not correct. That is not correct because DG is missing those. Ah. Let me see. Okay, but we can fix this. 
we can go here we already have uh, this one here this we take this and then we put this here we make a new barricades uh, DNG and inside we put this 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 I oh, know wait the layer mask layer mask and here we put this and then we control I control I yeah yeah and I think that's that's the answer So DNG actually is much brighter than G. Yeah. Okay, so this DNG. Oops. So DN and DNG. NG, N. Yeah. I think that is correct. I think so. Yeah, that looks good, good, good. Huh. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, we can't look at DNG because models are not yet using it. Okay, let's take some notes. Um, so DNG is new. And N and the N uh, recreates night uh, house house lights because basically we recreated it from scratch, right? House lights. And with this one, we did it as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is what we did here. Okay, let's build the textures and take a look at this. CB mock this zero three. All right. N. Okay, we know N looks okay. Kill scene lights. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, DN. Yeah, that looks also good. Then NG. NG also looks good. Maybe this one is not perfect here. Yeah. What did we do wrong there? Let me see. Must be this one here. <coughs> Shapes. Mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I see. So this one is a little bit too high. Oof. Maybe like this. Try like this, maybe this better. Okay, that also means we need to copy this, paste it here. No, we need to copy the barricades, duplicate, DNG. 
Ja. Let's rebuild the textures. Okay, so NG and DNG uses yeah the wrong like it also uses NG. Yeah. So we cannot uh, really judge this one. That's okay. DN looks okay. Good. Then the only question is SN, do we want to create a separate set for this one because strictly speaking there is snow there is snow here so here for example right so it it uh, it would make sense to make a snow set for this as well snow night yeah i think we can do that yeah The TSN. Yeah, it's not a huge difference, but it's a small difference and it's not too much work, so we can do this. Yeah. How long are we recording already? One hour forty seven. Mm. Yeah, let's let's do these and then we call it the day. Okay. So this one this one we can close yeah so basically so there is no s there's no sn no there's none okay so these will be new so sn DSN and SNG and DSNG, TSNG. These will be new. Okay. Okay, then we take S, S, oof, where is it? We take N, NG, DN, and DNG and create copies of these. And then we rename to DSN, DSNG, and SN, and SNG. Yeah, we cannot really test this because that would require model edits, basically just changing the texture path. But yeah, we cannot do this conveniently right now. Um, DSN, DSNG, yeah, okay, let's open these guys. Actually, maybe let's close all other images first. Oh. Let's work clean here. And we need S, S, G. Actually, these are the big ones. Mm. S, S, G. Regular ones. Yeah, and then we need DS and TSG. Okay, let's do it like this. Yeah, there we go. Actually, we also need this one. Oh, it's again this big one. Oh, God damn it. This one. Oh, 
Okay, copy this one, copy it in here, and the S also copy. Copy it in here, difference, merge, you know, merge, yeah. Zoom in, and now CP mock this 03 S. Difference invert invert uh, yeah and black and white black and white there we go let's call it uh, snow as in Let's hide these for a minute and edit copy merge and we call this N uh, merged. Remove these things here. And now we add this and levels. Good trusty levels. Levels. Yeah. Maybe like this. Let's go with uh, Tucken. Oof, that's a lot. No, Tucken is not the crack. We need multiply. Yeah, multiply. Oh, that's a lot of snow. That is much more than I expected. Ah, okay, because it got snow on here. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, that makes sense. So the windows are covered generously in snow, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. But it's good, it means that uh, the, the night light really differs a lot, right? So that's good. Um, yeah, let's do it like this maybe, yeah. Okay, let's put a new layer here. Um, fix artifacts or polish polish snow. Maybe that's better. Okay, so what we need to do is take a black and paint here. This maybe for testing, we put another the levels in here and we really crank it up no oh, that's the wrong slider that's also wrong yeah like this crank it up makes it easier to see here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here. Okay. Okay. Maybe up here a bit. Okay, I think that makes sense. I can remove this one again. Okay, so yeah, the snow is quite aggressive here, especially here. This line looks quite aggressive. Why is that? Let's take a look at the S. Huh. Hard to say why this S. Why there's a line? Mm. Okay, we can do it like this, and then we mm. 
what if you put white here? What happens then? Uh, that's not quite right. Maybe we need to multiply. No. Okay, then we need to do it different. Then we need to put this one. We need a layer mask here on this one. And then we take this and then we paint black here. Like this. Yeah, I think that's better. Got rid of the line. Yeah, good, 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 good. Or maybe it was a bit too much here. Yeah, on this one. Yeah. Good. Good. I think that looks looks good. Yeah. Then this no this texture is done. Let's save this. Let's take a look at uh, how it looks on the model. Yeah. S N S N Ah we can't see it on the model, right? Because it uses N. Yeah, that's too bad. It would be nice to see how this looks now. Yeah. But maybe those uh, maybe it's a bit too strong here. So what I think I would should do, I should decrease opacity of this. Make it put it maybe to 80% like this. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think it will look good. But if we slap it on the model, it will probably be okay. Yeah. Yeah, probably be okay. Okay, so there is no SN and we copy merged and now we drop this here. This one. Yeah, so you see it's a bit darker now. So this is oh this is SN. Okay, save this. Copy merged. SN actually T TS is yeah TS broke there's no snow in front of the broken glass yeah that's fine well apart from here there's some snow but yeah who cares who cares Okay, that looks good. And then we can also put that. Oh, we need to copy this. Copy mesh. And here. Yeah. And this is DSN. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. SN merged. SN merged. And okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Now we got the snow set done and that was really fast because yeah, the hard work is on the base textures for the lights. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Um, then, yeah, I think that we reviewed and we polished. So the next step would be to open the, uh, the pull request and then start submitting, maybe make a final review that everything looks good. But yeah, I think this texture set is done. And I think it also looks good. The, the night model, I 
think it looks good now. good ng oh maybe we can add the uh, shadows to the barricades now since we made the shapes uh we can look at next time yeah we can think about that Yeah, sorry that I talk so quietly all the time, but I try to concentrate mainly and don't like concentrate on talking much as should, right? Uh, like when I mumble, <laughs> when I mumble quietly, I'm, I'm uh, concentrating, trying to get the, the paintings right and everything. And then, yeah, I don't put much thought and um, vocal talent into the narration of things but i think that's understandable it's deep in the process of making nice textures which i think is more important than uh, talking about it right yeah but i think this looks nice this looks good ng also looks proper and yeah, DNG uses the wrong texture, but yeah, this will be fixed with a model fix, and then this should also be proper here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I think that was a successful effort. There is still a little bit of sunlight left, so I can go outside, enjoy the evening sun, and then, yeah, I think I'm done for the day. Did maybe six or so hours of work that's not too bad for the sunday yeah all right yeah i hope you enjoyed uh, another episode yeah, yeah i've been so weekend uh, i've been creating four videos of let's mod zero hour already is going well so far I'm making progress and uh, yeah I think it's not too much extra work for me since I need to do the work anyway might as well just record the video while I do it and then uh, anyone who cares to watch can watch and maybe learn some things and maybe then eventually in the future help out I think the biggest culprit for putting time into this is actually the time required it's not so much the skill it's the time it, it takes so much time now for this for the night textures it took me two hours it's crazy two hours just for these textures and there are so many textures i touched like th over a thousand textures two thousand maybe two thousand textures yeah so many hours i think i think for just the textures i already spent two thousand three thousand hours easily i don't know i i don't keep record of this but it's a lot it's a lot. Some textures are easier than others to to polish. Some textures are absolute madness, insane. There's so much wrong. I think this object here is not too shabby, not not too hard to fix. Ah, I think the the hardest to fix are actually those upscales. There are a couple of textures I had to do, where. So so the deal is the following. In a zero hour, they downscaled a bunch of textures from a generals to zero hour. They downscaled um, a bunch of 512 squared textures to 256 square texture. Um, partly because the higher resolution is not really necessary because the object is kind of small. It doesn't need that large of a texture. But in other cases, the object is really large. And then the downscale is not really necessary. And I think the motivation there was to save on video memory, cut the video memory for the maps, right? At the time, the video memory was much, much less on the graphics card, 2003, 2004. So it makes sense that they, they cut on the video memory. Now, nowadays, it's not that much of a concern, right? Because you know, we run with big hardware and zero hour has plenty room in a 32-bit process. Um, 
Yeah, so it's not not a big deal. But yeah, so they downscaled a bunch of things. So th what this means, we can restore the high resolution textures from uh, generals and overwrite the uh, downscales in zero hour. But that will only upscale the non-snow textures because the snow textures were actually added in zero hour. They don't exist in generals because generals doesn't have snow maps. That that was new in zero hour. So all the snow versions of those civilian buildings that have higher resolution non-snow textures then need a manual upscale for higher resolution snow textures. And that is a pain because yeah, you can do the snow upscale with AI or with some tool and that will give you some decent result. But the AI upscale, this will always lose details, right? So then the smart way to go about this is to actually blend the snow upscale with the pristine texture from generals, blend them together so that the non-snow parts actually use a proper pristine high resolution texture. And that is really painful to do because you need to mix that manually by hand. And yeah, that takes a lot of time. So that was the biggest, biggest pain on the texture restoration front but i think in the end it will be all worth it there will be really nice polish on textures and i think everything will look much much fresher uh, i suspect that mo many people won't like immediately notice that the textures and the visuals are polished right they probably look at the game and oh everything looks normal i don't see difference but it's like the the, the sum of everything being fixed and polished will probably make a visual impact that people say, wow, this looks actually better. I don't know why, but it looks better. I, but I can't really say why, because the game is actually it's still the same, right? So I suspect this would be kind of the reaction for most people. They won't really notice what is changed, but something is changed. Something looks better. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that's the hope anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm... Um, Quite happy here with the new night lights. Looks cute. Looks good. Nice building. Would buy. Would live in. Beautiful. Nothing inside though. Needs a little bit of furniture. But it's okay. Good. Also, it looks like uh, we did not have any crash now with uh, the new... The new debug build from the W3D build. W W3D viewer built uh yeah we commented out this times eight and times 16 and uh dxt1 dxt5 format and that avoids the buffer overrun yeah i will test this more and see if everything's stable and if it is then we can submit it to mainline and maybe maybe the viewer will be stable now it was not for the past one year i've been using it extensively Every time I've been looking at textures, I used it. And then sometimes I click through the models and then it would crash. Yeah, there were several corruptions here in this code. We fixed a lot. Yeah, well, eventually, one day, <laughs> things will be stable. Yeah, I have high hopes for this. Good. All right, then, uh, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this session. By the way, uh, if you, um, you can... Uh, you, you don't you can speed up the video playback in YouTube right you can put it times two speed and then you can watch video much faster and I think this is very suitable for a video like this to just like go through faster if you want to click through some sections and because because the way I work is kind of slow but in YouTube you can do up to two times speed up and then it will be probably more enjoyable to look at sections of a video yeah and also you can put your own music in your background i don't put music so that uh, you can choose your own music um yeah because if i would put some music now in the background a it probably will get copyright striked right <laughs> uh, unless it's a uh, free music from youtube library or license somewhere and maybe it's not your taste and you would like uh, your own music and then yeah you can watch my video with your own music in some other youtube tab or in your itunes wherever right all right uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this session and uh, maybe tomorrow there will be a next one 
maybe every day because I work every day on this stuff. Well, not every day. Sometimes I can't when I'm busy with some other things, but I try to. I try to pump as much time as I can. By the way, let's take a look if anything was updated here. No, it doesn't look like so. So we are up to date on this. All right, and have a great day, a good night, and uh, until next time. Yeah, bye-bye.